Hey guys, concerned about the current detention and decline health of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypo, Mazinam de Kanu, the American military veterans of Igbo descent, have penned a letter to Justice Binta Inyako of the Federal High Court in Abuja, urging for his release. Hello guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Nigerians still on Mazina Vikano's continued detention. Nigerians are asking the federal government of Nigeria as a matter of urgency for the sake of his health, for peace, he should be released. Right now, we don't even know what is going on. Uh, the, the judge presiding the case, Justice Binta Inyako, he's like she's starting all over again. Matter when they don't work hard leave before, they are starting all over again. This person we are talking about has spent even more than three years now in the DSS custody. Up to nine, never seen no in faith. They've not imprisoned him. They are just wasting, wasting him away there. You understand? He does not even know his fate. Whether they are going to prison him or, or there is another thing they want to do to him. Or, we are just confused the way the Nigerian government is going about this whole thing. Nigerians have condemned this attitude and character by the Nigerian government. They, they talk, say, you know they use harsh hand. They train became. You understand? If you say you want to have, you know, a very understanding child and everything, you know they use giddy giddy, you know they use force. You understand? The best thing you see to your child, then you talk with the person, you talk to your child, and he will listen to you. The best thing to go about these agitations in the South is, is a rentable talk, finish. Listen to them. Are they actually marginalized? These people, they just want to make noise. Are they marginalized? That is what the federal government of Nigeria should be asking themselves. Go to the root of the problem and face it. That makes you a real man. When you see problem like this, you go face them. You go to the root of the problem, you tackle it. Because the way we are going right now, the way we are going, <laughs> may God have mercy. That nothing happens to this man in the DSS custody. Because voila, he could day plenty. Do you know why? Because, first of all, he had been discharged and acquitted. So this matter now when he day is as good as in all get case in the DSS custody, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the, any court in Nigeria. Because the court told, told Nigerian government that no court in Nigeria can try him. So he has no case to answer. So why is he still in the DSS custody? Why are they still trying him? So that is the issue here. Concerned about the current detention and decline health of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypo Mazinam de Kano, the American military veterans of Igbo descent, have penned a letter to Justice Binta Inyako of the Federal High Court in Abuja, urging for his release. The letter, which was signed by Chief Dr. Sylvester Onya and Dr. Gosson Obiago, avid president and secretary, respectively, urged the presiding judge to obey the Supreme Court judgment on Kano who they described as prisoner of conscience. This is coming less than one week that Ipov accused the judge of bias and asked him to ask her to hand off from Kano's trial. The U.S. military veteran expressed worry over the judge's refusal to grant Kano's bail application and plea to be transferred to the correctional center instead of the solitary confinement at the Abuja headquarters of the Department of State Service, DSS, where he has been held since June 2021, following his extraordinary rendition from Kenya. 
the letter made available to Vanguard reading part. The judge's refusal to comply with this, uh, the, the Supreme Court judgment and the lack of willingness to interpret the Constitution fairly are truly embarrassing and humiliating for the judiciary system of Nigeria and the whole world. Mazen and the Kanu should have been taken to a correctional center, not kept in a federal government's privately owned detention center, where his convers conversations with his lawyers and family members are always monitored. The judge's bias will not be looked upon favorably in history. Your actions shows that you are following a script. Remember that you have no jurisdiction over this case. You have allowed the federal government to bring forth all sorts of charges against him despite knowing he is innocent. The same prisoner was unjustly arrested and even after fleeing his home due to government invasion, he continued to face unjust imprisonment. His parents were also subjected to physical, emotional, and mental torture leading to their deaths. Injustice to Mr. Kano, it's injustice everywhere. The Court of Appeal sitting in Abuja had last year discharged Kano of all terrorism courts a count of, char of charge against him by the federal government and ordered his immediate or conditional release. The federal government appealed the ruling at the Supreme Court, which held that Kano's bill application should not be revoked. So guys, you've all heard it now. What's your take on this? Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Thank you. And bye for now.